Hi guys and welcome back to another quick Photoshop tutorial. My name is Manny and in today's post I want to show you guys some techniques that I use for general fixes again and in today's post I want to show you how to do some general fixes on the teeth. So as you guys can see at the moment I have this image right in front of me with a wide open mouth with um, teeth not looking ugly but teeth uh, that are a bit skewed. So I just want to show you guys some techniques how to retouch that a little bit and yes let's get going first off as you guys can see I've got my original layer here again first thing that I'll do again is create a duplicate of that and just start retouching a little bit on the mouth here at the top I just want to take out a little bit of these bumps here at the top and just retouch that a little bit and then I also want to show you guys some techniques that I use to just make these teeth look pretty and all straight in a row and really nice okay so let's get started command J to duplicate that and first we're going to rename that to retouch again and we want to start retouching with our healing tool on here again very close all right press J select your or just go over here select your healing brush tool and then just with a fine brush again we want to just sample an area very close by and just retouch over this really quickly over here a little bit retouch that a bit okay just to make these lip lines a bit nicer not so much crush there okay that also a little bit over here over here we want to retouch this a little bit so first step is just basically retouching a little bit on the lips and getting all of that looking to look really pretty okay over here a little bit okay I'm gonna feather my brush a bit control all together hold that feather my brush a little bit more and make it smaller again oops that was a mistake so press command Z just to go step back there Okay, with my vacuum continuous foreboard, make my brush really small. Otherwise, from the top here, okay, press Alt again, and I just want to sample an area very close by. Over here as well. Okay, and I'm almost done with that. Don't want to clean up too much now. It looks still should look natural. Okay, over here. I'm gonna go down a little bit and just see. Okay, here's a little hair on the lip. I'm gonna retouch that and a little bit of these bumps here. Okay, a little bit here, other side, that looks good to me, okay, then everything looks quite alright. Next step I actually want to do is maybe just take it quickly into the liquefying tool and just tweak it a little bit, okay, before and after, before and after, before and after. Okay, what I want to do now is take it into liquefying tool, so what I'll do is just press on my retouch layer, take my marking tool, rectangular marking tool over here, and just select the mouth a little bit, and move my selection a little bit, so we just want to take the mouth into liquefier. Okay, go up to filter, liquefy, and we're going to go straight into the liquefying tool. Okay, at the moment I'm still on the move forward or warp tool. I actually want to keep that to warp tool. I'm just going to take my brush size over here and just make it way, way smaller, say to around, not 50, around say 100. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, 150, somewhere around there. Density 50, pressure 50, that's fine. Okay, then what I want to do is just tweak this a little bit. Just push those lips in a little bit over here. Okay, on the side as well, a little bit. Okay, and then I want to basically have a nice round shape over here, which I do already have. I just want to tweak this a little bit. Okay, that looks good to me. And maybe the mouth in here just a little bit. Out. Okay, that's cool. Say okay, and we're good with that. Press Command D to get out of the selection mode, and we're good. Okay, so that's our first step, just to retouch the mouth a little bit and have it all nice. Now we're going to work just on the teeth here in the front. I want to pretty much duplicate these teeth over here and sample them in here and just have these nice foreground teeth here or the front teeth just to look very, very pretty. All right, so first step that I'll do is basically on this layer, retouch layer, I'll take my marking tool again and I want to just sample an area or actually copy an area. So I'm going to take this area over here press command C, command V for duplicate and paste or copy paste then press V and I want to move that teeth a little bit over say over here what I would also do is take my opacity down a little bit just to see where I'm moving this teeth at the moment and move it over here okay and maybe command T just to rotate that a little bit and just move it over here as well just to see with underneath okay over there I'm going to keep it over there. Press enter, okay. 
make my opacity all the way again and now I'm going to create a mask and paint that teeth in a little bit okay so hold alt go to your mask icon down here select the mask and now we're pretty much creating a hidden mask again okay zoom in very closely with a thin brush again press M, uh, B for your brush and then just take your brush down a little bit mine is very big at the moment so I'm going to take it all the way down and also command control alt again together just to feather your brush a little bit okay turn it to that size okay and now what I'm going to do is still select my foreground color over here to white because I need to paint in my opacity to a hundred here at the top and now I'm just going to paint in really roughly over this just to paint in the rest of that teeth okay over here and as you guys can see when I paint over here we get that hard edge here which we don't really want okay paint a little bit more okay and now we're going to switch our foreground colors back to black and we're just going to paint out this a little bit okay just a little bit and then also I'm going to press Control alt again make my brush again big and feather it completely then I'm going to make it small again my brush a little bit over here I'm going to change my opacity to say 50 percent and I'm just going to brush over this hard edge here make my brush a little bit bigger and then I'm not going to brush with the center again, just with the side. So just over here a little bit, a little bit. And there we've blended it in already a little bit. Maybe just a bit bigger. Okay, now we've got it in. Okay, before and after, before and after. Nobody would really notice that you have brushed that in. Okay, keep it like that. It's not perfect yet. So what I'm going to do is just zoom out again. Now it doesn't look really that nice. Okay, so the next step that I'm going to do now is basically just copy and clone something again. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer again. And this time go back to my retouch layer. Maybe just qu let's quickly group this a little bit. Otherwise we can't compare the things later. So I'm going to just make here a group. Command G and right there, duplicate or teeth. Okay, keep it to teeth and just leave it there. And then we're going to go back to retouch layer press M for marking tool again and now we're just going to select this area over here because I want to copy this area and just paste it into there so again command Z to copy command V to paste okay press V to move this around and now what you're going to do is go up to the top here to image actually add it we're going to go to transform and say flip horizontal okay flip that and now we've got it in as a nice shape okay I'm going to turn my opacity down a little bit again just to see where's the teeth at okay command T to rotate that a little bit and if I need to I would even scale it a little bit but for now it still looks good okay turn it a little bit more and keep it over there move it with my cursors a little bit say up and down that looks good okay gonna make the opacity all the way up again to a hundred percent and then what I'm gonna do is again make a hidden mask alright so press alt again on your mask hide that just move this into the teeth selection so when we blend that in and out so we can have that in one group okay go back to brush white foreground color with X and then we just with a full opacity here from the top we're gonna paint in the new teeth over here so very carefully paint that in okay then we're gonna do exactly the same step again down to 50% opacity and change our foreground colors back to black and we're just very carefully painting as you guys can also see we're getting that highlight now again paint that in maybe and just very close by at the bottom okay press X again because we want to cover that a little bit okay paint over here very carefully okay press X again just want to at the top paint that out okay now we're good like that so if I want to make my group smaller here again you guys can now see what we've created already a complete new teeth almost which isn't yet perfect perfect but it's a good starting point okay so next step I'm going to do in teeth group is again select the last layer and now do a master shortcut again press command alt shift E have that together if you want to you can rename that to master shortcut okay I'm just gonna write master s and now make a selection again on that layer with my marking tool and I want to take this into the liquefying tool once again so I'm gonna make this a bit bigger over here okay keep it like that the selection going to filter liquefy and we're going to just liquefy on this a little bit again just gonna zoom in very closely here take my warp tool again brush density also or the density actually says the stem just your brush size down to 
say 40, around 40%. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just tweak this a little bit, just change the bra the teeth as I, as I want it to, just make this a bit nicer. Okay, over here, and that in a little bit, push this in just a bit, a little bit more, just to make that teeth really nice and round. If you want to, we can touch up this also right now. A little bit over here, not to D-shape that. Okay, that's good. Say OK. And as you guys can see, now we have rendered this a little bit again. Press Command D, get out of that shape again. And like I said, now I just want to fix this a little bit, this bump over here. So we're going to do that also right now. Zoom in a little bit closer. Also very easy on our mask layer master shortcut layer I'm going to press my clone tool with S and then also opacity 100% normal mode and I want to just make my brush a little bit smaller and I'm just going to sample exactly this area here so press alt select or sample exactly from here and just very carefully brush over here just a bit and maybe from this side again and just fix this a little bit Okay, that's nice. Press Command D, all of out of our selection, and we're going to zoom out a little bit again. Okay, so now we have created a nice, round, new shaped teeth over here, which looks way better, but the other side still looks a bit crooked. So what we're going to do now is on our master layer, again, marquee tool, and we are going to copy this whole area over here. So copy that, press Command Z for copy, Command V for paste, and now we have a new layer here, new teeth. If you, I'm just going to write there two now, so I know, okay, that's my layer two. And now I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal again. Then V tool for moving. And also I'm going to take down my opacity a little bit, just say to 60%. And I'm just going to move it all the way over here, just to see where it can fit in really nicely. Zoom in a little bit closer. Sorry for that. Okay, over here, zoom in a little bit closer, and we're just moving our teeth again, and I'm also going to use my cursors left and right just to move this a little bit, and I want to shape them in quite nicely, actually, over here. Okay, I'm going to leave it over there and take it up to opacity 100% again. Then we're going to create a hidden mask again, press Alt, select your mask, and we have a black mask. So select the mask, press B for your brush again. And we're going to say a white foreground color over here. And now we're going to just brush in the teeth again, the new teeth. Okay, over here. Okay, I still need to go to 100 opacity at the top. And now I'm just going to brush in very roughly over the background and everything, just the new teeth. Okay, over here and down here. Brush in everything that we just copied. Same over here. Just be a bit careful in the top there. Okay, and over here, also over here, okay, and also a little bit of the mouth there, I want to get the shadows from the top as well, so I'm doing that very carefully, my brush is also feathered quite a lot again. So over here, you guys can see, now we're copying already the lips again, which we don't want, so press X, swap your foreground colors again, and make the brush just a bit bigger over here, okay, paint that in, we'll fix that in a little bit now. Maybe if we have a look on the other side, we could also actually create something like this. If I want to look here, yeah, we could just fix that in a little bit. Okay, with X, your foreground colors, you change that to black. So we're going to paint in these teeth here in the front a little bit. Okay, make my feathering just a little bit less. Like that. Okay, and then I want to just make it a little bit smaller again. And over here, just very fine, paint in these teeth again. So over here, and I want to get a little bit of that teeth. Okay, I'm going to zoom out a little bit again. And there you guys see it already. We have fixed already the teeth a little bit nicer. So over here, I can then just also fix the rest of that teeth. As you guys can see there behind that, we need to fix that a little bit. And also at the edge here of the back. And I can also see it looks a bit fake here at the top. So what I'll do is go back onto my mask. Press again X to my foreground colors, change it back to white, and we have it not that feathered. I'm going to turn the opacity first to say around 50%, and I'm also going to feather my brush a little bit again, a little bit more. 
Okay, and now I'm just going to brush over here a little bit just to bring those, bring the mouth back a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer here, and now I want to still fix the background a little bit, right? So what I'll do is to go back to my master layer over here, zoom in as well again. Just take my clone tool over here, feather it again, a little bit smaller. Okay, and press Alt, select an area from very close by, and just over here, sample that. Just be careful that you're not sampling too much over our neat new teeth. Okay, over here a little bit. You can sample over the old teeth, don't worry about that. Have to still blend this layer out so we can actually see what we're doing because now currently we had the mask blended in so we couldn't see it properly. Okay, blend that out again. To sample an area again from the top, a little bit more. It's not the best, it doesn't look like the best technique at the moment, but it's working. Okay, then blend in the teeth again. And there you guys can see it already looks a bit better. So if you view it from far away, nobody's really going to notice that. Okay, zoom in a little bit closer. We're going to still fix the back here. Oh, we, and I can see on our mask here at the top, we still need to fix this a little bit. So change back with black. Feather your mask again, uh, your brush, sorry, and just feather that a little bit. We're also painting with a 50 opacity, so just be careful. Okay, a little bit more. That's actually good. Okay, over here. All right, nice. Now the next step I'm going to do is again press again, create again a master shortcut. So press again Command Alt Shift E. On top of that, and we're just going to say Master S3. So I know. Okay, it's the third master shortcut layer. I'm just going to write the S. Okay, and now I'm going to retouch on top of that. So I'm going to zoom in quickly. Retouch just this corner here a little bit. So I'm going to press S for my clone tool. Just zoom in a little bit over here. Make my brush also feather that a bit. Okay, press Alt. Select an area from here. And I'm just going to sample over here very closely. Okay, a little bit more. And I actually want to feather my brush a little bit more. So I'm just going to feather that a little bit more. Make it a bit smaller. Okay, and just really carefully also take my opacity to say 50% again and just feather it in here a little bit. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, I'm going to zoom out again and we're just going to have a quick look from our before and after. Okay, on our teeth, that's the before and that is our after. So before and after, before and after. So this looks a little bit better already. Now we, I would actually go over to a second step where I would do some highlights and just retouch all of the teeth a little bit where we just brighten the colors again. We'll brighten the teeth a little bit, which is not too heavy. I showed you guys uh, some techniques in the tutorials before how to do highlights and how to retouch just on colors a little bit. So use those techniques to retouch the teeth a little bit more. So I hope you guys learned something today in this quick tutorial. My name is Manny and thank you guys for watching. See you all next week in another tutorial. Bye-bye, guys.